Good morning. Today we will learn how to open a new account in a MongoDB Atlas service, uh, create a new project, and set up a free cluster for the uh, for the service. Uh, our first task will be uh, getting into the cloud.mongodb.com uh, website. So you will be able to even log in if you have already an, uh, an account or sign up for the service which will lead you to this page where you will be able to either sign up with your Google account or enter a few details regarding your email, either personal or business, password, and etc. and uh, complete the sign up. After, being, uh, after uh, completing the sign up, you will be able to log in with this page and get into your um, Atlas account. In your Atlas account, you actually have an option to create new project. For example, we we'll click in here on a new project, which will include, a, can include multiple a MongoDB clusters, a, but each project can include only a single free, free cluster. So if you plan to have multiple, you probably will need to have multiple projects. Uh, we'll uh, name our uh, project uh, training and we can add another members to this project just by adding their, uh, their, uh, their email and voila create this project now all we need to do is actually create a database. We can either uh, select the the uh, paid for accounts, either the serverless, which is a new option, the dedicated, or the shared, which is free. It's a very simple one, very small one. It doesn't have backup, so it doesn't fit the production, but it's brief it's uh, for any training or development purposes that you have so we just can click on create uh, it's super important to remember first to select the correct cloud provider so we will have a, a cluster which is next to your uh, servers for example in this case amazon and north virginia but you can also select a uh, a GCP or Azure. A, the free account is the M0 sandbox, which is 512 uh, megabyte storage. And if, as you can see, it's a MongoDB 4.4 with no backup. And you can actually can consider changing it, but Again, backup is only available on the M2 series. And super important, this is the only place that you will be able to uh, rename your cluster. So, uh, cluster in this case will be uh, the right one. And we just click on create cluster. And we actually, it will generate as a cluster. We can either select the authentication with user password or certificate. Please notice that the, the first user that you're going to create will be a, actually a super user privilege. So we can, uh, for example, define your root and, uh, and something which might be See, we can create the user. And we can define if we want to add specific IPs or cloud. And of course, we can just add all create in our new IPs and finish.